What's up, guys? I'm Zach. Welcome to Brandon's Series. Today, guys, I welcome you to the very first episode of a brand new podcast called Brand Talks. Where basically, me and a few friends are gonna be sitting down and talking about video games, movies, and TV shows, and, or anything that comes to our, our mind because we have a lot to talk about, and we figured that the best way we can do so is with a podcast. So, every week or every second, depending on how we want to do this, we'll be talk- discussing a wide variety of topics of our choice. Or, if you guys have any suggestions for for uh, topics, you can do so. You can put your comments in the comment section and we will gladly take them as video ideas that we can use for the show but we're going to be basically talking about all this fun stuff because we want to have a one-on-one conversation with you guys we want to talk to you guys we want to basically give our ideas so you guys can be part of the conversation and be part of our awesome community that we love so much so anyway if you guys didn't like this video make sure to watch it part of the power of like so let's go ahead with the podcast and like i said again if you have any suggestions for um ideas do so in the comments and yeah Let's move on with our very first topic, being the 2017 Power Ranger movie. Now, we're gonna be today. We'll be talking about its legacy and its timeline, basically about everything that's been happening so far and everything that's been revealed so far about the movie. So let's begin right now. Okay. So the movie was revealed in 2015, and once I heard about it, I was super happy because Power Rangers for me is a franchise I love dearly. It's a franchise I grew up with and I still love it to this day. Some seasons are better, are better than others, but I digress. Um, when I heard that it was being made, I was so happy because I was like, oh my god, there has been a Ranger movie since Turbo back in 97, so it's been a while since the Ranger movie, it's been a good 20, 20 years actually, no, 21, it's between 20 and 21 years since the last Ranger movie, so I was really happy. Then I found out the movie was going to be a reboot. Now, reboots, now, reboots are terrible unless they're done right. Take for example Transformers. Well, some movies are some of the movies are rather than like Transformers Two is god awful, but Transformers One is okay. Now, the movie itself was going to be is going to be a reboot of Mighty Morphin. So basically, the very first season of the show. Now that I was happy about because I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. But being a reboot, I would know that they would have to recast new actors. Now. As soon, when they were revealing the actors for the movie, I didn't know who any of them were. Like, we have people like, um, Naomi Scott, uh, Darcy McGumphrey, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, um, RJ something, I don't remember his last name, please forgive me, and, um, people like that. Now, the only person I can safely say that people know would be Becky G, which I, for my virtue, she's like a singer, I'm not too sure, I might ask, ask my, I might ask my sister or something, I don't know, I don't know Becky G, but, um, they introduced us our rangers. Now, none of these people, n- nobody knew who these people were, and people were really mad that, you know, the Black Ranger was played by an Asian guy, and the Asian and the Black Ranger was played by a black guy. Honestly, I didn't care. I really didn't care. Honestly, I felt like it was it was cool to have racial diversity in the cast, because the, the, the original animal from cast was, like, it was just... It, I know a lot of people, like, realized that, like, it was going to change, but people really wanted their cast to be the same. Like, they wanted Billy to be the nerd and wear this, his overalls and his glasses, and they wanted Zach to be the hip-hop and keto kind of guy, but you know what? Because it's a real things have to change. Things have to be modernized. So, I'm actually glad that they did branch out and cast different characters in different roles. So, we're not going to have the nerdy glasses Billy. We're going to have a Billy with no glasses and stuff like that. So, I found that really, really cool. Then we got to Rita. Now, Rita is a big topic for debate because they changed her outfit, her complete look. Now, a lot of people are like, oh no, why did they change Rita? My childhood is ruined. I can't live with myself. But, you know what? The Witch Bandora, which is what Rita was based on, was good for 1992. I mean, this is 2016. Like, the movie's going to come out in 2017, but it's 2016, people. Like... Rita's outfit was ha- would have to be modernized, and honestly, I think it looks better. It looks all lizardy, all serpenty, and like people have mentioned, her green appearance might have something to do with the with the dragon ra- with the green range of power point. Who knows? But um, I mean, the outfit itself looks really, really like really smooth. It looks like you could die if you come in contact with her. Like a lot of the promotional material shows um her right in front of Becky G, who plays Trini, and my God, she has these metal nail talons and it's just like it looks just it looks amazing it looks fantastic and elizabeth banks playing her um because elizabeth elizabeth banks 
that played that one woman in the Hunger Games, that super exuberant one. I can see her playing Rita, although I don't think she'll be playing it like Barbara Goodson did back in season one of MMPR. Um, I think she'll be playing it a lot more modern. Like in the trailer, you do hear her speak once. So I'm pretty sure that she'll be playing it more modern, not more like, ah, after 10,000 years, I'm free. That's my Rita impression. Really good, right? It's terrible, but yeah. Um, she's not gonna be, I'm pretty sure she's not going to be playing it like that, and it's going to be a different taste of the movie, because this movie is for a new generation, it's for a new audience, because the people who grew up with MMPR back in, when it was airing were 90s kids. The kids nowadays are, like, I, like, I, I would talk about attention span and whatnot, but it's a new generation, it's 2016. Um, the age of Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, all this social media is that, you know what? They they had to make some changes, and honestly, I think it's for the better. Now, obviously, if, if this was done in the show, it would be a bit weird, but since it's a movie, I can accept it. And then we came to Zordon. Now, when they know Zordon, I was like, oh, thank God Zordon's going to be in the movie. But then I found out Zordon was going to be voiced by... Will play by Brian Cranston, aka Mr. Walter White himself from Breaking Bad. And then I thought to myself, oh lord. Because first off, this made me laugh. This made me really laugh. Because I was like, Brian Cranston? Why? But then I figured out that, oh, because he actually voiced two monsters in Mind Pirates. Because back in season two, I believe, he voiced uh, he voiced two of Lord Zed's monsters, so he has been in Pirates before. But, so they said, you know what? This guy's voiced two monsters in the Ranger series. We're going to bring him back and make him do Zordon. Okay. I mean, sure, Brian Cranston's popular with Breaking Bad. Is Breaking Bad even still playing? I don't know. I need to check it out. But, like, it was a good idea to bring him to bring him back. Even though you might, even, like, you might not even remember who's in power. Just like, go up to Brian Cranston and be like, Mr. Cranston, you are going to be Zordon in a new movie. Wait, why? Why me? Well, remember in 1994, you were two monsters in season two of our show. Oh yeah, you're Zordon. Have fun. That's basically I. That's I guarantee that's how how it went. And so, all I can picture now is Zordon basically being like Rangers. Gotta cook some meth. I know a lot of people are basically being like, uh, that's what everyone's saying. But honestly, when you come out with a character like Walter White, is that people? People always see him as Walter White. You basically can't you, you can't see him being Zordon. Although I'm gonna have to I'm not gonna judge until I see it. But hey, you know what? We're gonna have to wait until we see another trailer or a poster until we see him in his full gear. And plus, um, you know, it's gonna be cool to see him as Zordon and stuff like that. Now, next we came with Alpha. Now Alpha is gonna be voiced by Bill Hader, the comedian who's been in SNL and a bunch of other movies. Now. I'm not too familiar with Bill Hader as an actor. I'm gonna assume he's really funny. That's why he was chosen as Alpha. And I'm gonna guarantee you, Alpha's probably gonna be CGI. I mean, it's no give. It's not a given. It's 2016, like I said. He's gonna be CGI. It's practically a given. Either, either that, or they're gonna use an actual Alpha costume. Which honestly, I would love to see another Alpha costume. But hey, you know what? You, you never know these days what could happen. But anyway, yeah. Um, I can see why they chose Bill Hader because Alpha. It tends to joke around, but not too much because, you know, it's Alpha. I mean, he's a, he's a super, super first character in the series, but I'm pretty sure people, if we didn't add him, people would be like, no, just don't. But, yeah. Um, that's all we really have for the main cast right now. The only characters... No, we, okay, we haven't been announced. Vulcan Squad haven't been announced yet, or neither has Goldar. Now, the only thing is when we work, we need to have Vulcan Skull, and we need to have Goldar. Why? Well, yeah. When you look at Money Morphin, and you look at Power Rangers as a whole, Bulk and Skull were in six seasons of Power Rangers, and honestly, Power Rangers wouldn't be the same without them, because they gave a, basically, they gave that sort of comedic comedy, excuse me, I need to move my chair, they gave that comedic quality to the show during its darker episodes, because when the Rangers were off fighting that monster, Bulk and Skull were either eating ice cream, or bullying people, or trying to find the Rangers that day, they were doing something of that sort. Bulk and Skull gave that comedy to the show that it needed and it's practically a given that they need to be moving now granted in the trailer we did see a few bullies bullying billy a lot of people thought that was bulk and skull because we did see two separate bullies now for me 
that could be Bulk and Skull. There's a really a low chance that it actually is. But if it is, top notch. If it isn't, well, oh well, there might be another movie. Who knows? But yeah, but if they are in the movie, then that would be a big loss, and people would go ape shit over it. But anyway, now we have Goldar. Goldar is basically he's he's needed because only having Rita as a villain is good. But having her have multiple generals is even better because in the show Rita had Goldar, Finster, Squat, Babu, Scorpina. Then we had Lord Zed, we had Master Vile, we had all these villains with each other, and just having Rita as a villain won't satisfy long-term fans. Because Goldar was in four seasons of Rangers, being Mighty Morphin and Zeo, and Goldar is a really loved character because he's just he's a he's a monkey in golden armor with wings. Like, that is awesome. Now, granted, if they do add him in the movie, he will be CGI, probably, or they might have a really good suit. Um, I mean, Zordon, not Zordon, Goldar needs to be in this movie because it will make Rita look a lot better in comparison. It will make her seem less alone and make her feel like she actually rules over something. Because if she's just talking to herself, looking through her magic telescope, it's going to be really awkward for, you know for just her, but if she has Goldar or even Finster or someone else with her, it's going to be less awkward and she'll have someone to basically talk down to because she talked down to Goldar a lot, but yeah. So, moving on, we have the tease for... Next, we have the costumes. I'm going to talk about the Zordon. Now, the costumes. Now, when the costumes were announced, or released, rather, a lot of people had the feeling that this movie was going to fail. I mean, the costumes looked like reject Iron Man suits. That's what they were. Gone with spandex. They were all basically armor-like forms, and the helmets looked nothing like dinosaurs, except the Red Ranger's helmet. The rest looked terrible, and they basically looked like they had Iron Man's little test plate thing inside of them while they were in their suits. And a lot of people didn't really like that. I'm not a fan of the suits, because, honestly, it looks nothing like dinosaurs, and it looks just, it looks like Iron Man, because superhero films nowadays are going to have that metallic armor, like Iron Man, but, you know, if, I don't know, if they gave it, okay, if they made the armor look like the actual suit, I would accept it, but because it looks nothing like it, I don't like it at all. It looks really ugly. Granted, it can help you withstand long-range attacks, but yet again, is that really going to help you in the long term? Not really, even though it's better than spandex, but still. If it looked like it, it would be awesome, but it doesn't, so I'm not really a big fan. But, um, moving on to the Zords. Now, the Zords themselves, obviously, are going to be CG. Like, there's no doubt about it, the Zords are going to be CG. It's not 1993, we're not going to have the toys or sword suits like they did back in the olden days. We're going to have, like actual CG dinosaurs like Grimlock and Age of Extinction from Transformers. Now, we did have a trailer, uh, um, a posters released a few weeks ago, which basically showed off each ranger with their suits, without the helmets, on their each separate zord. We saw bits and pieces of each zord, so we got we got to see Jason on the back of the Transor zord, uh, Billy on the Triceratops' head, Zack on what looks to be the Mastodon's tusks, Trini on the Sabertooth Tiger's, I want to say, head, and Kimberly on the Pterodactyl's mouth or something. I don't know. Well, the po You'll see the posters on the screen right now, but, I mean, the Zords themselves look really robotic, they look really CG, and basically it makes me wonder, what's this Megazord going to look like? Because the Megazord is obviously not going to look like the classic Megazord that we know and love with the horns and the breastplate and the massive shoulders, it's not going to look like that, it's probably going to look a lot more, going to look a lot more Optimus, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee, and basically look like Transformers, because this is basically what it's coming down to, if Transformers was never made, we would have different Zords, but because the movie is made and inspired so much for robots, we're going to see our Power Ranger Zords that we know and love become CG dinosaurs, that's right, with this giant CG robot that won't actually be there. I don't, like, if they decide to shoot cockpit scenes with them in the Megazord, I don't know how it's going to work, because you're, are the Rangers going to be sitting like on the green screen, and they'll be like, oh, hey, we're piloting the Megazord, oh, wait, no, we're not actually in the Megazord, oh, watch out for the attack, bam, it's like, it's not going to work, I, I don't see how that's going to work, because the Zords 
are a big selling point of the show, and obviously, they are going to probably make toys of the Zords, I guarantee it, but, come on. What would you rather have? CG Zord or real Zord? I would say real Zord, because you want the Zord to be actually there, not just a figment of your imagination, because they're basically going to be like, okay, guys, we're going to shoot the scene where you're in the Meg Zord, I want you guys to believe with your imagination that you're actually in the Megazord. No, you want to actually be in the Zord itself. You want to have, want to be, you want to be in a prop. You want to be in the actual costume. But, you know what, that's just my thing. Or, have a Zord suit. Go, go to Japan and ask for them to make a suit for you. And they know before, they did it with Dire Ranger. They had gotten the tiger suit. Yeah, it wasn't actually a robot. There was a guy in the white tiger suit. Yeah, I know. Big, big shocker. But, this all boils down to the trailer. Now, the trailer of the movie was released on October 8th. The morning of October 8th. And I gotta say, the trailer itself was okay. It wasn't awful. It gave me mixed feelings, mainly because I didn't know how to feel in the end. Because, first up, the Rangers look like they're under house arrest, basically, because we see Jason with an ankle brace, so that means he must be house arrest or something, and we see basically what looks like a breakfast club sort of place where we see all the Rangers meet up together, and then they go out for some reason and get their power coins, or what I like to call them the power cookies, because they look like giant cookies or rocks, they look like coins, but anyway, that's, that's my other thing, but they find them, they get superhuman abilities, like civilian powers, and that's the guy I mentioned. Why is it when they have the power points they get civilian powers? Because in Mighty Morphin, they didn't have civilian powers. All they had was the Morphers, and that gave them power. They didn't give them super strength or anything. You couldn't break your sink like Jason did in the trailer. You couldn't be as hard as a Triceratops. Like, you couldn't. I mean, it was crazy. Like, half the shit that they show in the trailer, I'm just basically being like, okay, cool. And they morph in a circle, and the arm, and the the suit molds onto them like metallic goo or something. It looks, I, I mean, like they are not using morphers. They're not. I like. It looks like they're not using morphers. I mean, they should, but they're probably not because you know it's a reboot. But you know, oh well. The trailer didn't show too much of anything. We like we didn't even hear Zach speak. We didn't hear Kimberly speak. We didn't hear half the Rangers speak. We didn't like. We only saw Rita for a second, and I know that's great because they want to save everything up for the movie, but still, I mean, you could, you could easily show more of Rita, like maybe show her in her palace or something like that, and all that fun stuff. I mean, the trailer could have been a lot better, but for what it's worth, it's at least good that we saw one, and one thing I find I had mentioned before I off this podcast is... The possibility of an end credit scene because it's a superhero movie and odds are I'm like I would like to see an end credit scene. Now what I was thinking for an end credit scene, more like like most people, is that we see a we just see darkness and we see a strike of lightning and we see a figure and his eyes glow green. And that in case, that in turn would reveal Tommy Oliver, our Green Ranger for the next movie. That would be a great and credit scene, mainly because it would establish Tommy in this universe, and we would, you would, we, you would know that it would be a sequel coming because most end credit scenes in movies set up future events. Like for example, the end credit scene for the Avengers with Thanos, it sets up that he will be in Infinity War, and all that fun stuff. Like end credit scenes really set up a lot of the movie, and if we had Tommy Oliver in the um, end credit scene for this movie, it would basically, basically guarantee you, boom, boom, Green Ranger, Dragon Zord, Dragon Dagger, next movie, boom, popular success, let's do it, cake. I don't know why I said cake, but anyway, you got the idea. So, I'm pretty sure that's what we'd, they would do, and if they don't do it, I'll be really surprised if they don't, but that, anyway, I digress, that's my little opinion on that, but, you know. So, that, my friends, is my little podcast my first the first podcast of the series about the power Rangers movie basically explaining the timeline and whatnot so if you guys didn't find joe's movie if you if you guys didn't find joe's podcast make sure you can also like my on twitter Instagram, links in the description and i will see you guys next time for another episode of Rins talks where we'll be talking about other stuff that comes to mind so with that i hope you guys have a good night remember hashtag brianza i don't know and we'll see you guys next time for more and talks so have a good night and remember have a good night and, I, and see ya